I think this design will be like my car. You either gonna love it or you should make this bag at least once to understand the construction of these corners right here. It will not take a lot of material or time, so no excuses. Now go download the pattern, which by the way is included with your uh, dieselpunk.ro YouTube membership for the month of July 2022. So go ahead, use the links below to uh, download it or just buy it from my shop where it will be available forever. After you download the files, open them with Adobe Reader and uh, print the pages in A4 letter, legal size, whatever you want. Any of them will work, all right? No matter what size uh, you prefer. And uh, by the way, you can sell any of the items made with my patterns. That's perfectly fine with me. I wish you the best of luck. Moving on, as you can see, all the patterns are clearly laid out at actual size, all holes marked, no adjustments necessary. Easy mode activated. You're welcome. Next, we will use this page to cut the back piece. I used 5.5 ounces of vegetable town leather uh, already dyed in this beautiful color. Uh, you want the leather to have a little bit of stiffness to it, so if you have in a leather or chrome town leather which tends to be softer you might want to consider lining it all right with fabric or maybe a thinner pig skin or yeah, pig leather skin leather whatever it's called to add some rigidity to uh, to the leather you're going to be using think of lining as a viagra for leather all right you know what you know you know what i mean of course you do now let's stick the paper onto the leather using paper masking tape, all right? This will hold the paper firmly onto the surface while we punch the stitching holes and cut the leather. I recommend punching your holes with a high density plastic board underneath. This is very similar to what cooks are using to chop their vegetables on, all right? So go to the kitchen, uh, get that board and uh, punch all your holes on top of it. It will uh, lengthen the life of your hole punch. All right. Also, apply some wax along the stitching line to prevent your puncher from uh, clogging up uh, with leather poop. All right. Now sharpen your blade and carefully cut the leather pieces out. Keep your fingers away from the direction your blade is going, all right? As much as possible. Uh, you're gonna need all them fingers to give uh, a like to this video. Actually, you know what? Why don't you hit that like button right now, all right? Just in case, you never know. Well done so far. Our piece is uh, ready for assembly. If the back of your leather or the flesh side is a bit rough and fuzzy, uh, you can try apply toconol or some other burnishing agent 
and rub it on its surface with uh, something smooth like uh, this guy right here. It will help and uh, give the leather smooth finish as well. All right, that's, that's what you want. So this is pretty much everything you need to finish this purse right here. I will use this piece of leather to uh, make a lining for the front, this guy here, all right? If you make the purse like this with a buckle strap here, this step is optional. But you know me, you know me, I love giving you options and the option is a magnetic closure instead of um, the buckle belt here, all right? So if you choose the magnet over the buckle, uh, this little part will cover the insides of the magnets and uh, it won't be optional anymore. So you're gonna have to make it and use some glue to stick these two pieces together. As with any lining, either it is fabric or leather, I strongly recommend stitching along the edge so the two never split apart, all right? You don't want them getting a divorce, all right? Nobody wants that. By the way, I used one millimeter waxed thread for this build and the stitching holes are 1.5 millimeters. Having said that, for this particular design, a stitching prong, all right, um, and thinner thread would have worked just as good, if not better. If I ever make another one, I would definitely go for the stitching diamond chisels instead. Next, use some uh, sandpaper or a Dremel to smoothen those edges, all right? Bring them all to the same level. After that, uh, you can either burnish the edges or use edge paint to seal them. Either way, you gotta do it. Next, let's put together the gusset, which is uh, this part here, and is made from three different parts. Here is where we attach them, but note, I don't start at the edge. I will leave two holes on each side and only use the 16 holes in the middle here 
to uh, form these two stitching lines. Now, if you use vegetable tan leather, grab a bit of water and rub it along the stitching edge like I'm doing here. Then shape the edge with your fingers at a straight angle like this. By the end, you should have something that uh, looks pretty much uh, like this. I'm asked a lot, why don't I use glue in my construction more? The thing is, I designed my patterns so I don't have to. But I admit, this specific design can actually benefit a lot from the use of glue. Zoom in my face because this is important and uh, when you zoom in people tend to pay more attention. You can actually glue this back together like I'm about to now and then use the chisel prong to make the stitching holes. Not as easy but if you want to practice it or if you want to try a more traditional approach to bag making um, you should give it a go. Okay, you, you, can zoom, you can zoom out now. Thanks. This here is the moment you would punch the stitching holes once the leather is all glued up uh, together. And then stitch them together like um, so. You realize by now 
there are two stitching lines around the edge so go ahead and uh, finish the second one as well you may ask was it necessary to do two stitching lines moving on we have to attach the back piece in the same exact way so you go ahead and do that well i go ahead and uh, have a cup of coffee all done with the main body and remember uh, this guy here let's attach it at the front here next we can start with these uh, four round pieces here and then finish this line on the outer edge right here At this stage, we can finish these edges too, so go ahead and do just that. The back 
is pretty much done, but we need to keep uh, this flap closed. One way to do that is with this belt here, uh, held together by a buckle. Now, this buckle is 20 millimeters on the inside and the rivets are nine millimeters long with nine millimeter caps. You can get these exact same ones in my hardware shop if you like them, which of course you do, very good quality. Link uh, to the hardware shop in the video description down below. So we just tuck the flap in and we're done. That's something different for you. What's that? You don't like different. That's fine because the pattern will include a version where you can close the flap using a magnet in the center right here. All right, one half attaches here and the other half attaches here all right the pattern will have uh, the lines clearly marked all right last thing we need is put together the handle this guy here all right i see this as a hand purse you know so i made it short like 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 so all right but if you want to make this a little longer it can be worn under the arms like like this well it won't fit uh, because I have, uh, you know, very strong arms, but you get the idea. Um, or make this piece a lot longer and wear it on your shoulder however you want. And uh, till you decide what you want to do, let me show you how I made this particular handle right here.
Look at that. It's beautiful. I would love to see it made with a diamond trunk and thin thread. So if you do, please send me pictures because I'm very curious to see. Anyway, my bag is done. Uh, I'm going to think of uh, somebody who deserves it. Your bag is done. Go ahead and sell it and, you know, gift it to someone dear, whatever you want. Uh, I, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So remember to subscribe so you won't miss out. Peace.